uh, previous tutorial video we saw how to do the interface with the rp lidar within laptop and pc now we are going to see how to interface the yd lidar with our laptop and i give the step by step process of uh, interfacing yd lidar in notion documentation in my description and there are three steps first we need to create a workspace second we need to clone the yd lidar repository from github and third step is uh, find out the port value of the yd lidar and and first we need to create a ros workspace by using a linux command mkdir yd lidar and enter it and it will create a directory and go to the directory and create a src folder in that src folder make catkin init workspace it will be create a c make list file and after that escape from src folder and make catkin make it will be make three files devil bell and src in src folder only we need to clone all the things into source source files and repository links should be cloned in src folder and i give in second step i give the repository link of id lidar and go to that repository and copy that link and paste it on src folder by git clone that src uh, git clone and uh, that uh, OED lidar link into that src folder after that make catkin make and after catkin make it will be make the essential files and list and libraries which all need to build for OED lidar it will be built and after that we need to find out the port value of OED lidar before that we need to insert our OID LiDAR USB cable into our laptop. Okay. And, and go to Notion documentation. In that, I give the in third step, I will give the step by step process. First is find out the port value. And before that, insert your USB cable into your laptop and enter it. It will be show the USB 0 in red color. That is in port value and we need to enable that port value using a chmod command and enter the password of your system and enable your uh, port value and we are i am using a x2l uh ID lidar version and for that i gave the launch file in my repository and run the ID lidar package Go to terminal and uh, run the OID letter package by type ROS launch x2l dot launch. It will be launch the OID letter. ROS launch x2l dot launch. And after launching the RP letter, it will be published the sensor information by the scan topic from OID LiDAR to our laptop using a scan topic and using that scan topic we can visualize the sensor information using a visualization software always right open another terminal and type ROS topic list it will be list what are the topics available on our workspace it will be a ROS topic TF and scan this is all of the topics available on our workstation and using a scan topic only the OID LiDAR will be published the sensor information from LiDAR sensor to the laptop using a scan topic. And after make sure that scan topics available, type ROS topic eco list, it will show the numerical values of the OID LiDAR. And after find out that, open the RVs by type uh, always on our terminal. I go to add and make my topic, and in that laser scan add that one go to frame and add a base foot frame or base link and it will be show the sensor information in RVs and it, it will not visualize for now scan will be very less so we need to improve or increase that or uh, change in that value by 0 0.01 to 0 0.05 now it will be easily visualized for us now the information is visualized and open the terminal and type ros topic eco list or ros topic list 
it will show the what are the topics is available on our system now type ross topic eco list okay ross topic eco scan it will be show the numerical values and using this uh, scan topic list uh, scan topic we can do the mapping by using a different mapping algorithms like a uh, time mapping z mapping cartographer the main thing for doing the map is scan odem and tf this three information need for doing the mapping process first we get our tf and uh, scan topic for doing the mapping process in upcoming video tutorial i am going to do the mapping process using our LiDAR sensor after that uh, raspberry Pi interface this is all the future of uh, video tutorials is based on robot design and simulation tutorial studio channel and thank you please subscribe the channel